Great. Previously, uh, we set up the game board. We set up the um, uh, buttons, and the button one was basically like this. We started with uh, when you click on a button, it's going to display an X or an O, uh, and it's going to tell whose turn is next. The other thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to switch the turns. So if it's player X's turn, the other thing I want to do um is in here is i want to say if it's player x's turn then i want to say player x's turn uh is now false and i want to swap uh if it else uh player x's turn is true and why i do this is if it's player x's turn we play an x and now it's player o's turn and then I want to say, okay, player X has had their turn. We're going to swap it. Uh, so I need to set that to false. And the final thing I need to do is I need to make the button uh, disabled because I don't want X, uh, O rather, to cheat and then click on a button X has played. And now O is going to take over that button. So I take this button and it is now disabled. And that's basically... Uh, all I need to do for the buttons. Now, of course, I don't have just one button. I have nine buttons where you can press. So I would basically need to type that same thing in for each and every button. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll show you a quick way I can do that. I'm just gonna put the code in here, and then I'm gonna go to button three, and I'll put the same code in, even though it's uh, not the code for that button. There's a slight difference. And then what I'm gonna do, once I've done uh, it gets fairly long, the code, you can see there's nine buttons, so there's going to be nine subroutines just on here, um, is I'm going to go up here to uh, button two, let's say, I'll, I'll put my thing here, and what I want to do is when I click on button two, I want button two to be an X, not button one, but of course I copy the code from button one. So here's the trick I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the edit menu, and I'm gonna do a quick replace, and I'm gonna look for a uh, one, and I'm gonna replace it with a two. So I'll go uh, um, find next, and I hit replace, replace, and replace. And now I'm on, if you look here, it's probably hard to see, I'm on button three, so I don't want it to say button one text or button two rather text. I'm gonna replace it with a three because I want the one to replace with a three. So I'm gonna replace those. And now I'm on button four. So I'm gonna to need to replace with a four. And so I'm gonna go find next. It's gonna replace these with fours, then replace with fives, replace with six for button six. Uh, button seven is gonna replace with sevens. Uh, button eight is going to replace with eights. And then button nine is going to replace with nines. And now I've uh, done them all. Great. The next one I want to do is set up the start game button. So next we're going to set up the start game button. When pressed, this button will assign a value to the turn variable from step three um, as appropriate for whoever's going to play first. So X always goes first. And then it's going to enable the nine game board buttons and it's also going to uh, replace the text. Um, so as you may remember from what we had up here before, um, we've got the disable buttons and we also have the code for uh, clear buttons. Oh, what happened to the code in the clear buttons? Did I accidentally... delete that somehow yikes okay uh, so clear button text uh, what we did with that is I went public sub um, clear button text and I basically said button one dot text is nothing Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And 
oops, accidentally hit a breakpoint. So that's a clear button text. Um, I'm also going to need one for enabling the button. So I'll do that as well. So public sub enable buttons. And what I'm going to do here is basically put this code, but I want to change the false to true. And again, a quick replace will be great. I'm going to replace false with not true, but true. And now I'm ready to make the start game button. So start game button, button start game, what we want to do is I want to clear the button text. Um, I want to uh, enable the buttons. And I want to say player X's turn is true. And I want to say label display dot text equals uh, now it player X. And I think we're ready to play the game. So let's test out this game that we've just made. So when I press play, oh, better save it, by the way. Uh, I'll press play here. And here is my tic-tac-toe board. Notice before I start the game, I can't do anything. So I press start game. I'm going to click here. That's where I like to go first. I'm going to click here. It says uh, it's an O. Now it's player X's turn. Player X is going to go and try to get a corner here. Oh, player O better be defensive and try to get here. And you can see I've got tic-tac-toe uh, done.